And now we have the odds. Another term for probability is odds. However, strictly speaking, the two terms have different meanings. Odds are often stated as the ratio of the probability that a particular event will occur to the probability that it will not occur. So they take those two probabilities and then reduce it and usually report it as this to that. So these can get a little confusing. And then at the end, and in gambling, the term odds on actually generally means odds against something happening, just to be extra confusing. So if we are wanting the odds for an event happening, we put the probability, the chance of the event happening over the chance that it will not happen. Now remember, A and not A have to add up to one. So we could also write this as the probability of A over one minus the probability of A. Or we can do that calculation separate and then put the result in. Either way will work. Same thing here. So we just have to pay attention to what is it asking us to determine the odds about, and that's the probability that goes on top. So the bottom would be odds against A happening, so that would be not A. And it has to tell us, if you're not sure, ask. I don't want you guys to get mixed up on a problem because my wording was weird. And I recognize these are weird. So example nine, what are the odds against getting two heads when tossing two coins. So against two heads. So let's do some typing so we don't have my bad handwriting. Against two heads. We can think of this as the probability of not two heads. So we also need to know the probability of two heads. So I'm gonna move down here and also put just the probability of getting two heads. So I'm flipping two coins, head, head. There's only one way to do that. So that is one out of four, which means the not of that is one minus minus one fourth, which is 0.75 or three fourths. So one fourth and three fourths. Now I started with against because that's what they asked about, but I actually calculated the four. So what's the probability that I'll do the thing and then I just use my one minus to get the other. But the odds against, I put the event that I'm curious about, which is the against or the not case, is going to go on top. So the odds against two heads is going to be, now bear with me here, three fourths over one fourth. I do not like writing fraction over fraction. It is ugly and it is even worse when there are no parentheses. That is why I have all the parentheses here because if you typed this in the calculator without the parentheses, it would give you something weird. It would not give you the correct answer. Here, it actually calculates it correctly because I put my parentheses here. I'll even show you. Three over four over one over four and see. It gave us like, I think that's 3 sixteenths maybe. Yeah. So wrong. Parentheses, very important. If I was going to handwrite this the way I would expect to see you guys write it, it might look like a couple of different ways, but one of them, the most common would be to write the 3 fourths in a slant over and the 1 fourths in a slant with the big fraction bar. The big fraction bar, and technically any fraction bar, has a caveat to it. The catch is, the caveat is that whatever is above the fraction bar is assumed to have a big set of parentheses around the top. Whatever is below the fraction bar is assumed to have a big set of parentheses around that as well. 
but mathematicians are lazy. So they're just like, well, if we just write the big fraction bar, whatever's on top is on top, whatever's on the bottom is on the bottom. Yeah, drives me nuts because that's dependent on visual cues, not symbolic cues. So I personally find it always fair to ask like, hey, you wrote fraction over fraction over fraction. Like there's too many divisions here. What did you mean? That is a fair question. Now there are other ways to manipulate these fractions if you're having to do it by hand. But for me, calculator's fine. More than fine. All right. Some people though will write it. Let, let me show you what it looks like when it makes me mad. I know what I meant was three fourths over one fourth, but it is only barely bigger that the one between the three fourths and the one fourth is just barely bigger than the other two. And in typesetting, it's even worse. Like you're talking three millimeters longer. And if you're looking on a phone, you can't see that difference. Maybe a pixel, maybe not. So math textbooks, if we pull like a picture example from a textbook, may type something like this, may write something like this. And the assumption is whatever is on top has parentheses. Whatever is on the bottom has parentheses. So that's what I meant by that. That is one of those ninja things that they don't tell you and they really should. By they, I mean textbooks. It's like the thing they reserve to mess everyone up. Mm. All right. Example 10, what are the odds against drawing a spade from a standard 52 card deck? So that means I need the probability of not getting a spade, the probability of getting a spade, and then the odds against are going to be the probability of not spade divided by the probability of Yes, spade. Now we'll say back up here, we got three. That was the number crunching answer. Odds though, you have two numbers when you relate odds. So the three has an implied over one. So we would actually report our answer like that or most of the time, this is where that colon comes into play. So the odds against getting two heads are three to one. Meaning add the two, three plus one is four. Three out of four times, you're not gonna get it. One out of four, you will. What that means for your payout, I don't know. I don't gamble and understand odds the way that works, but you see the colon like that, that is the information the colon is telling you. If you add the two numbers, you get the total number of ways the thing can happen. It might be some bigger multiple, but that's what it could reduce to. And then what you're talking about, the opposite of what you're talking about. So the probability of a spade, if you remember, spade is one of the four suits, four suits in a 52 card deck. One fourth of 52 is 13. So there are 13 spades in the deck. So 13 out of 52, I think I just said 42 on accident. which reduces to one fourth. So not a spade will be one minus 13 over 52, which surprise, surprise 0.75, which is three fourths. So our odds then, The not spade was three fourths. The yes spade was one fourth. And again, that is gonna simplify to three 
And then I'm going to type in the over one. Or we could write that as, and I'll just write it, three to one odds. So the probability of getting two heads is the same as the probability of getting a spade. They happen one out of four times. So the odds against are three to one. So this is a good example because we had that to one part that you have to remember that you have to put in. It won't tell you tricksy math. All right, this is it for 7A. I'll be recording 7B shortly. As always, bring your questions to class. By all means, start the homework. And then when you get stuck, just like put a little star on your notes, bring it in, share the screen, and we will work through it. One of the best ways to deal with this is to see how it's written, engage with it as you go. All right, see y'all soon.